Welcome back. Nurses play an important role in the health and healing process. The climate of health care certainly changing. It's important for hospitals to find flexibility for the nursing staff. Good Samaritan Hospital in Vincennes found a model that's proving to be successful in other hospitals and so far it's working well for them too. Good Samaritan Hospital in Vincennes increased the workforce last month in a virtual way. Hello. Virtual nursing is the ability to use really experienced nurses who can come in as a resource and give our bedside nurses time back with their patients. Rachel Spalding is the chief nursing officer and recognizes the world of health care is changing. The way we've done nursing and nursing care and the models of care just will not work in our current climate. So, you know, we have to look for future models and this really has been one that's been highlighted for some time. The goal is to provide extra hands to help patients. We're trying so hard to really um, lift up the healthcare workforce and it's particularly the bedside nurse because um, they really are the purveyors and they are the coordinators of care for anyone that is in the inpatient hospital realm. There's actually two virtual hospitals in the United States. So they walk into a virtual hospital every day just like our nurses walk into our hospital every day. Hello. Hello. So your bedside nurse will actually message the virtual nurse or call them and let them know that you are in the room. And so then the virtual nurse will come up on your TV. So the TV screen, it will kind of ring like a doorbell and the TV is already in the room. The cameras are connected to the TV and the nurse will come on and they can talk to you through the screen or your actual remote that you use like as a call light to call your nurse. They can hear the nurse through that. So the patient doesn't even have to leave the bed. Christina Clements is a charge nurse at Good Samaritan and sees the benefit of virtual nursing every day. It's taken some time off my hands, so then if a nurse needs help doing like a clinical skill on a patient, I can actually go help them with that process versus just doing some paperwork at my desk. You're building a relationship with them. You can actually have a conversation that's not just about medically everything going on, so you can actually understand your patient and like their beliefs and feelings and how they feel. And patients say a virtual nurse helps make the hospital stay easier too. They came on the camera, uh, asked me everything I needed, and within minutes they were here to take care of me and uh, that way they knew what to bring to my room, what I was uh, asking for without having to make multiple trips. There's not much difference than talking to a person. They're right there, it's pretty close. You can hear everything clearly, see everything clearly. So uh, it, actually it's just as good. It, it would be something that makes almost no difference than if she was standing right here. Good Samaritan Hospital recognizes virtual nursing is benefiting its staff and patients at the same time. For our patients, this means that they've got not one but two nurses. They're going to take care of them um, anytime they're in the hospital. This program is 24-7. And for bedside nurses and bedside staff, they have an extra pair of eyes on their patients. They have someone to help really care for them um, and hopefully give them the best outcome possible in that process. Fascinating stuff. And if you want to learn more about the services offered at Good Samaritan Hospital, their website is gshvin.org. Good Samaritan Hospital Vincennes. Shorten that out, and that's how you find them online. You can also call the number there on the screen for more information or scan the QR code right now.